Puppetet Safety Monitor is a home automation app that enables you to quickly set alerts for intruders, water leaks, smoke, and carbon monoxide. You can also create custom alerts for other devices you'd like to monitor. Let's start by setting up your intrusion alerts. Go to your apps page in your Hubitat web interface and load or open Hubitat Safety Monitor. You'll see there are three built-in arm states. Away for when nobody is home, home for when somebody is home and awake, and night for when everybody is home and in bed. We'll start with the away settings. The first thing you need to do is select the sensors that will trigger an alert. For away mode, if you don't have any pets, you might want to just select all of them with this toggle right here. Otherwise, you can select individual sensors with these drop-down menus. But we'll make it easy and just select them all. Next, select the alerts for when the sensor is triggered. With away mode, I'm not home, so I always want to get a text alert. First, I select my phone where I want the notification sent. If you don't see your phone listed here, you can set it up as a device using the Hubitat mobile app. Next, type the message you want to send along with any parameters. I want to know what device triggered the alert, so I'll add that like this. You can have this message repeat until it is canceled, but I don't want to do that, so I'll click done. Now, this is an intruder alert, so I want the intruder to know we're onto his shenanigans, so I'm going to use my Sono speaker to send him a message. Click auto alerts, then type in the message you want the speaker to say. We'll select our Sono speaker here. And yes, we'll repeat this to make sure he gets the message. Now click done. In addition, you can select sirens you want to go off. With light alerts, you can turn lights on, flash certain lights, or change their colors. When we set all of our alerts for the away state, we'll click done. The same process applies for your home alerts and your night alerts. If you don't want alarms for either of those states, just leave them blank. I'll set some up quickly so you can see how they work in the next step. Hubitat Safety Monitor can also send you alerts if you have devices that detect water leaks, smoke, or carbon monoxide. The process is exactly the same. Pick your sensors, then how you want to be alerted. Custom alerts are a pretty cool feature that we'll address in another video. Okay, now our alerts and triggers are set, we need to configure how to automatically arm and disarm your system, and how to cancel those alerts when they go off. So click here. Your intrusion alarms can be armed by modes, buttons, or security keypads. If you have already set your hub's modes using Mode Manager or Rule Machine, this is a nice way to automatically arm your system. For example, for your away alerts, you want them to be armed when your home is in away mode. Your night alerts you probably want to arm when you are in night mode or what I've labeled as sleepy time mode. Then let's automatically disarm the system whenever the hub switches to any other mode. Delays are a nice option if you use a button to arm or disarm your system. This allows them to work like a traditional home security system. For example, if we set this delay arming armed away to 30 seconds, we can hit the button to arm the system, then we'll have 30 seconds to exit the house without setting off the alarms. The reverse is true if we set the delay intrusion armed away to 30 seconds. This is for when we come home and trigger the alert, it will give us 30 seconds to hit the cancel button before sending any alerts to the phone or flashing lights or alarms or what have you. With that set, you should select the buttons you want to use to arm and disarm the system using the drop down menus here. This next step is very important. If your alerts are triggered, you have sirens blaring, lights are going off, whatever you chose, you need to have a way to shut them off. Do that here. Use the drop down menu to select whatever buttons or switches you want to cancel those alerts. Finally, if you use contact sensors for your intrusion alerts, the system will not arm if they are open. If you select this option here, you can get alerted that there is a problem arming your system. Again, using flashing lights, text, messages, whatever. When everything is configured to your liking, click done. Your Hubitat safety monitor alerts are now up and running. 
you can see the current status of your alerts at the top of the page. You already set your devices and modes for arming, disarming, and canceling alerts in the last step, but you can also use these buttons right here inside the app to manually arm or disarm your alerts. For help with Hubitat Safety Monitor, visit our online community at community.hubitat.com. Thank you for watching, and thank you for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.